I said I wasn't going to make videos like this, but I just can't help myself. I love talking about the intricacies of the gaming uh, industry. So I just want to kind of say this to people that just really just are out of touch. I am so sick of talking about this over and over. I'm so I'm tired of talking about it on Twitter as well. It is super annoying that people are just so out of touch. They don't understand how the industry works. They think that it's a gimme and it's just annoying. I'm not a shill for any com uh, company at all. Like not at all, but having unreal expect, um, I I'm sorry. What's the word I'm looking for? Having, yeah, having unreal expectations. It's just going to only bring disappointment, like extreme disappointment. And then you got to ask yourself, why do you even want things to be how they are in general? The point of this video is to say that Jim Ryan was right the whole time. And one of the things, and I'm sure he's fluffing this up. I'm, I'm pretty positive he's fluffing this up. One of the things that is interesting is that with this CMA, um, Activision, Act, uh, act of, what is it? Uh, uh, yes, well, Activision ac acquisition. Activision acquisition. Damn, that's hard to say. Um, there was some information regarding why Sony seems to be so hell bent on keeping, you know, um, Call of Duty on air. And it goes as follows. So Jim Ryan basically states that SIE is to lose significant revenues diminishing its ability to fund further investments. The PlayStation uses that play Call of Duty generated around redacted information with a total spending of around a billion on hardware, peripherals, uh, subscription games, and other PlayStation services. The loss of all or a significant portion of these users together with their associate, associated revenues and profits will severely diminish SIE's ability and incentives to invest in future hardware and innovative or innovation in gaming technologies. I'm gonna pause right here. This is the reason why we have the DualSense. This is the reason why we have a very good VR headset. This is the reason why we have a very fast SSD. This is the reason why we have the graphics that we do have that punches above its weight. These are the reasons why these things exist. Right. And Sony is on record for always trying to push the envelope at all costs, sometimes at the cost of the quality of the materials. But they always will push. Always, always, always will push. You know, he also goes ahead and he says that this would in turn reduce the potential return on um, producing innovative first party games, thereby diminishing SIE's ability and incentive to invest in new games. So we had uh, a whole bunch of Xbox online stating that, hey, right? The reason why they was like, oh, see, this is why, you know, oh, so that's why Sony is complaining because they can't make the AAA games. I thought you guys bought their exclusive games. I thought you bought it. And to be honest with you, I totally see where they're coming from because you get a lot of fanboys, which I'm going to actually uh, uh, a list a lot of fanboys that don't want they just want it all for themselves and no reason and they don't even purchase the games out there it's like playstation fanboys have this propensity to play guess what mpds and metacritic that's what they do that's what they do which is to me crazy it's crazy to me that that's how they operate instead of actually having fun they only care about scores and they only care about sales from which other people are buying their games. And they, you know, basically say, well, well this game is so successful, which is very annoying. Point in case, right? Um, here was a Twitter exchange, exchange, excuse me, where a guy mentions about Jim Ryan and what his uh, views are, which I'll get into there. And someone says the same sentiment as what I was saying. You know, Jim Ryan gets a lot of heat. This guy says, you're saying that he gets a lot of heat. He does get heat from people who just dropped $500 on a new hardware that seems to no longer be the focus, even though they were seeing it otherwise at the start. 
this is what I never understood. They say that there's no focus, which kills me. What do you mean? What do you mean no focus? Like, what are you talking about? What do you mean? If I understood this assignment correctly from Sony, they clearly are investing in games. You got games like what you see on the screen now, which is Horizon Forbidden West, that looks an order of magnitude better than most games on the market, or Gran Turismo, or the VR. What are you talking about? See, the argument with them is that they flat out just want bragging rights for fucking Twitter. That's what this is all about. That's what's so fucking annoying about these people. That's what's annoying about the fanboys. You just want it on there. So it, it, anyway, so continuing on, uh, the guy ends up kind of, you know, con uh, what do you say, correcting them and says, well, everyone can make up their own mind whether they like something or not. I have a PS5 and I think it's awesome. Great console, ga great games, lots of great games coming too. I guess because Sony didn't show them the games, they need to see proof, even though they've been in the fucking industry for five generations, but I digress. Oh, I don't disagree. I just feel like this criticism is fair. I could do without the games being on PC, to be honest. Business-wise, it makes sense, but to me, spending my money in a platform, in an ecosystem, or into a platform, into an ecosystem, just to eventually lose out on what made the console special is a letdown. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't understand the need. Like, why do you care? Why are you looking over the fence? Worry about your own damn grass. Worry about your own damn house. That's the problem with people with living, you know, trying to live with the Joneses. You're peeking over your fucking fence, looking at someone else's grass. Who cares? Worry about your own ecosystem. Worry about your own PS5. You bought a PS5. You didn't have enough money to buy a PC. So shut the hell up. Be quiet. Shut up. That's why there's so much rhetoric online that pisses me off. Shut up. Every time I read this, right? And this is what they don't understand. Shuhei, years ago, I would say about eight years ago, seven, eight years ago, he mentions about the business model of the PlayStation um, in general and states as a quote, it's a hit driven business. We look at our financial results for the titles and probably three or four out of the 10 make money and maybe one or two make all the money to cover the cost of the other titles. Right? He says, personally, I'm quite happy to see that Sony is willing to support talented developers, which is supposed to be the most important thing so we can get better games, right? Uh, whether the games are financial hits or not, especially considering the titles that may not seem like enormous money makers at first sight, can actually turn out to be runaway hits, right? That's the thing. If you play it safe too much, contrary to what people think, they think that a game like Horizon Forbidden West or God of War, none of that shit's safe. None of it is. It is a lot of money to make these games. And you have to wow people beyond their wildest dreams. So like a game like Forbidden West, right? The graphics are some of the craziest graphics out there, but some people don't like the way that the game plays. You know, and they are unwilling to forgive any kind of shortcomings. It has to be absolute perfection. And that's annoying too. That's super annoying. So I can't, I can't stress to you how irritating I am, or irritated I am when it comes to this. He goes ahead and shows, Shuhei Yoshida already stated the following. These games don't make money. They cost a lot of money. And you can already see with the court legal documents with the, act, the uh, what do you call it, Activision acquisition. That it was just very telling when you see it. It was very telling because people really don't know that this shit is important, like it's expensive. And what Sony is doing is what the other companies are just not doing. Microsoft, it is, they're not invested in anything. There were about third party developers and very quick games. Nintendo was not doing it either. Nintendo was making very, very cheap cell phone games essentially in terms of production value. Some of the things are literally cell phone games. You got like what Mario, not Mario, Zelda is one of the only games that they put a lot of money into. And even that, the hardware is hampered by that shit too. 
Sony's the only one out there that's really trying to try to do the most when it comes to these games. With crazy stories, crazy graphics, crazy crazy sounds and everything like that, and it always gets shitted on. Making games like Hogwarts or any of these big games, even Elden Ring, they're not cheap. They're not cheap. I don't like these. Here's some of the arguments that people say in general. <laughs> Why does it Sony? I don't understand. Why does it Sony just make little games? Because little games don't sell five hundred dollar consoles. Little indie games don't sell it. And nor do your weeb Japanese games. They don't sell it either. They don't sell it. You gotta have something big and flashy and bold. You have to do shit like that. You have to. You have to. You have to. Or else your expensive ass con uh, console just won't. It, it's not going to sell. That's one of the reasons why Xbox ain't doing shit either. They're supposed to be the world most powerful console. It, it, well, guess what? They have no games and nothing to show for it. At least Nintendo, their console is cheaper than the other ones. So that's what you. That's what you get. The reason why I say that Jim Ryan is correct in what he's saying is because he just has five points. And he's kind of let everyone know what he was trying to do. He is acquiring studios, specifically studios with talent, and specifically studios that can help basically uh, refine their development uh, 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 workflow. Buying Nixies, you know what I mean, to help with PC, right? Uh, focusing on live services, because guess what? As many people complain about live services, well, you know what? It seems like you guys still pay for live services even though you complain because you got Destiny, you'll play that shit, and you also got Call of Duty. You play that shit too. They, they are live services games. And in and, and, and 2K, all these complaints about, oh, Sony's doing a bad thing, well, you're still playing these live services. I guess you are afraid that it's going to go the route of like Grand Theft Auto, where they just focus on online. And you're not going to get the storyline games, even though you motherfuckers don't buy it anyway. But let's say that, that that's the original worry, right? Uh, looking at this, Sony needs to sell hardware. So they can't do what Rockstar do and just not care about, you know, just, just focus on games of service and call it a day. They have to have something flashy enough where you want to buy the console. So these live services games are to help mitigate the cost of these big ass titles and keep them looking like you expect them to look like they're also launching a mobile division that's low investment these cell phone games and high profit and it, of course it exposes the ips to more people just like the tv and film which is point four stuff like uncharted that helps with the ip and exposes people to the ip so they can buy the game in general even Hogwarts, they're looking to make a show with that one. And that's going to help Hogwarts sell even more. The same thing with Cyberpunk. Same thing with The Witcher. That's what they're doing. You got to do whatever it fucking takes because this business model with high quality costs a lot of money. It costs a lot of money. And for all the people that's complaining, right, about PC games or games that are on, on, on PlayStation, going to PC, well, it's not like you are buying them. Most of the games, you just care about stuff that sells or that rates 90 and above on Metacritic before you even buy it. And a lot of these games you don't even finish. You go straight to Call of Duty anyway. Anyway, these games are going to help open up these IPs to other people. Not only that, but PC platform, they love games as a service. They will be willing to try games as a service. And they may not know or like, at the moment, these Sony story-driven games, but guess what? Guess what, though? They may give it a chance if they see that the live service is actually decent. Jim Ryan goes to say three things. PlayStation Strengths, as you know, is the single-player, narrative-rich stories. Our studios make those games, and they are some of the best you'll find. We are starting to go multi-platform, or we're starting to go multi-platform. You see that. Uh, we have aggressive roadmap with the live services and an opportunity to work with and particularly learn from the brilliant and talented people from Bungie, which is the live services. We already know about that. This is going to considerably accelerate our journey that we, we find ourselves on. Philosophically, this isn't 
about pulling things into the PlayStation world. This is about building a huge and wonderful new world together, meaning that you have a big holistic, uh, that's probably not even a word I'm looking for, but you have a big area for which people can kind of draw from and, you know, just, just, just strengthens the IP essentially. But that's what I really kind of wanted to talk about because it seems like people just flat out don't understand how the business model works. These games are very, 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 very expensive. And making these little Japanese games to, see, to satiate your needs doesn't sell consoles. And you need a big ass title to pay for everything else. You mistake these Japanese titles and their strengths. You mistake that. Because even if they do sell big, it is not guaranteed. It's very unlikely that they will. But you know what will sell big? These Western games. They do. They do. 